Man, this week has probably been the worst one ever for Linus Sebastian and Linus Media Group, the company behind Linus Tech Tips. I thought earlier this year when all of their channels got hacked and the hackers were basically running an Elon Musk, you know, give me one Bitcoin and I'll send you two crypto scam for like a day and a half. I thought that that was the lowest that it could have ever gone because, you know, you think about it. I'm pretty sure most of that company's revenue comes from their YouTube channels. So that revenue channel literally being down for like a day or day and a half, pretty big impact to your bottom line. But also it's a tech tips channel, like it's more or less a technology company. And so for your company to have their bottom line hit by a pretty low hanging fruit cyber attack, like a little bit of social engineering to take over your YouTube channel, reflects really badly on the company. But at this point, that screw up is small peanuts. That's just a little flub compared to what has recently come out. The fact that Linus Tech Tips has been getting the one thing that they're supposed to be good at, product review and product testing, wrong. And in some cases, actually knowing that the data that they're putting out in their videos is incorrect, but they just go ahead and choose to publish the video anyway. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one of the only things that I really ever watched Linus for, like Linus Tech Tips, was those product reviews, specifically for new CPUs and new graphics cards. I used to watch his channel a lot more back when I was working at Best Buy. In fact, myself and all of the other sales associates in the computers department were recommended by the manager to watch channels like Linus Tech Tips. I actually can't even remember any other channels that they were recommending to us to watch uh, other than like the official Best Buy e-learning stuff, of course. But, you know, for like homework and stuff like that, he would oftentimes tell us, hey, we're going to be getting new HP Spectres or new Dell XPSs pretty soon. Linus Tech Tips just made a video about it. Why don't you go ahead and watch that so that you know about it when the product comes in so that you can better sell it to the customers. And I actually did watch Linus a little bit before then, like, you know, 10 or 11 years ago. He was really the only game in town as far as professional grade, uh, I guess, technology reviews. But I bring up the Best Buy thing to really hit home the point of how far his content goes and how much it actually affects people's purchasing decisions. Because... It's not just the millions of people or the tens of millions of people that are like actually watching his videos that it's affecting people like me, like people who are Best Buy sales associates. And I'm sure people working at Walmart and other brick and mortar electronics stores are watching his videos thinking that they're getting educated, you know, they're better understanding a product so that they can sell it to their customers and they're probably repeating a lot of that information, that incorrect data to their customers. I mean, this isn't something that was a Best Buy policy to watch Linus Tech Tips. I'm sure it's not the same case at Walmart either, but anyone who's trying to do their job well, any electronic salesperson is probably gonna end up watching somebody like him online thinking that it's additional education, you know, thinking that they're doing the right thing to give their customers correct data about the products. Now, this big can of worms with Linus Tech Tips knowingly publishing incorrect data in their videos was opened up by Steve from Gamers Nexus. Now, Steve and Linus have actually had a bit of a beef for, I think, well over a year now. Uh, and he went ahead and dropped this massive bombshell, this 44 minute video called The Problem with Linus Tech Tips accuracy, ethics, and responsibility, where he gives detailed examples of LTT and other LMG videos publishing this incorrect data and making these mistakes in their videos just so that they can meet some kind of self-imposed deadline. Like, I, I get the idea that they wanna be the first person to publish a review, they wanna be the first channel to publish a review about a new product because that, is good SEO, right? Like if you're the first person to talk about something that a lot of people are searching on any platform, a lot of people are going to end up clicking on your video or your post, especially if you're a big verified channel that the algorithm is already really favorable to. But, you know, at some point you have to 
kind of realize your position on the platform, right? Like you're the biggest tech channel on the most popular video platform. And at that point, it's probably a better idea to slow down your pace a little bit and focus more on quality instead of quantity. Like that's the same thing that I've started doing with this channel over the past couple of years. Instead of trying to pump out like a video every single day or like five or six videos a week or something like that, I try to slow them down so I can focus more on the quality, you know, take more time to edit them and things like that uh, instead of just spamming a bunch of videos. I think across all of the channels, Linus is putting out something like 25 or 26 videos a week. The only explanation that I can think of to explain Linus's behavior is that he must be blinded by greed. I mean, it makes sense to me because most of the big controversies that it seems like he's been involved in with his channel go back to greed. Things like shilling companies that are paying him more money to leave better reviews on his products, uh, him selling his screwdriver for a crazy marked up price on his website, him calling the people who watch his videos, like his fans, calling them who watch videos with ad block enabled thieves. And there's also this big thing. I mean, this is probably the greediest thing he's done that Steve talked about in his 44 minute video, where apparently some company had sent Linus a prototype. I think it was like a water block, like a water cooling block for him to review. And Linus actually left that product a bad review. Okay, fair enough. But this is a prototype that Linus was supposed to send back. Instead of doing that, he decided to auction it off at one of his events. I mean, that's crazy. You've got like the guy who's running the biggest tech channel on the biggest video platform selling other people's copper, engaging in literal crackhead behavior. Like, there's over a hundred employees that work at Linus Media Group, okay? It's not like Linus Tech Tips is just one guy who's gotta wake up really early in the morning on the day that a new product comes out so he can get to Best Buy or Micro Center before everyone else, get his hand on that product, run back home and then do a test, you know, do testing on it, do a video, edit the video, make a thumbnail, publish it, shill it on his social media. It's not like he's doing all of this stuff himself in his basement somewhere. I mean, he's a big shot, he's running a company, he's got all these people working for him. I think his company was also valued at like a hundred million dollars recently from somebody that was trying to buy it. I don't know how accurate that is because I think the source is basically Linus. So, you know, how trustworthy is that? But still, he's not some small struggling content creator that, you know, we can excuse like, oh yeah, he's just rushing, trying to make it big. Like, no, he's already made it big. He's already on top. He should really just slow down so that he's not making these ridiculous mistakes in his videos. Like one of them that I remember from Steve's 44 minute video uh, is that LTT made a comparison between, I think it was a 3090 Ti and a 4090 showing frame rates in different video games. And one of the video games was Cyberpunk or a different AAA title where they showed the 4090 having 300% better performance than the 3090 Ti, okay? Like that's insane. If somebody didn't even own either of those cards and they just wanted to, I guess, fake like a benchmark comparison video, they probably wouldn't even make, end up making a mistake this big. And again, these videos have a huge impact on people's purchasing decisions. I used to watch them with my German roommate who was also an employee at Best Buy. He was actually the Apple master, which is like a lead sales position in the computers department and you specialize on Apple hardware. And granted, we didn't just watch Linus, we also watched Gamers Nexus and Der Bauer, and we also watched Lewis Rossman. In fact, Calvin, the Apple master, he was the one who put me on to Lewis Rossman and I still watch his content to this day. So our information might not have been that bad, you know? I mean, we had one bad source of data and probably three, uh, at least three other good sources of data. But then again, me and Calvin are actual nerds. Like you would think that everybody who works at a Best Buy or who works at a Geek Squad or maybe even works at the electronics department at Walmart is a nerd, but that's not the case. For a lot of people, they just sell computers for a living. Like it's just their job. They're not, you know, a big geek or a nerd or 
anything like that. And so if they see these ridiculous results, like a 4090 being th told that it's 300% better than a 3090 Ti, they might not even realize that that's complete bullshit and they'll just go ahead and run with it or maybe even regurgitate it word for word in their sales pitch to the customer that's trying to get a new graphics card. But to be honest with you guys, I don't even really think that the greed, the theft, the inaccuracies, even the sexual harassment allegations that are being brought against Linus Sebastian are going to be enough to sink Linus Tech Tips. Because there's a big difference between Linus Sebastian the man and Linus Media Group the company. Uh, I don't even think that Linus is the CEO of his company anymore and hasn't been for a few years. And I also vaguely remember him making a video, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago, saying that he was getting burnt out, like he was kind of getting tired with making all these YouTube videos or running the company, whatever. So I think probably the best move, like definitely the best corporate strategy would be for Linus to basically take all of these sins just upon himself, you know, say that all these mistakes, all this stuff is his fault and he's going to step away from the company. So that stuff like that is never going to happen again. And he could just kick back at his Canadian estate and continue receiving a check maybe every week or every couple of weeks from Linus Media Group. That's one outcome. Another possibility is Linus Media Group might Papa John's him, like basically take his company away from him and then he doesn't get to uh, reap any of the financial benefit from then on out. That's what I think are the most likely outcomes of this whole debacle. But let me know what you guys think is going to be the fate of Linus and Linus Media Group in the comments below. Be sure to like and share this video to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey. Have a great rest of your day.